What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. We got some breaking news here. Former President Donald Trump has just been indicted on brand new charges. This going back to the 2020 election interference, and this will involve a grand jury. This potentially being the most serious charges as well. Um, this uh, this will involve his presidential acts. This goes back to when he was president. Okay, these are potentially the most serious of his offenses that he has now been charged with and will involve a grand jury and um, people that will sit on this and determine whether he is guilty or not. Take a listen here to what they just said about these charges that he has just been indicted on. Take a listen. Special counsel. The charges on former President Donald Trump has been indicted by a grand jury convened by special counsel Jack Smith to investigate Trump and his allies' attempts to overturn the 2020 election. Trump has been charged with four counts, conspiracy, conspiracy to defraud the United States, quote, by using dishonesty, fraud, and deceit to obstruct the nation's process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. Conspiracy to impede the January 6th congressional proceeding, a conspiracy against the right to vote and to have that vote counted, and obstruction of an attempt to obstruct and impede the certification of the electoral vote. Members of the grand jury met at the courthouse earlier today. Trump announced on July 18th that he received a letter from special counsel Jack Smith notifying him he was the target of a grand jury examining the January 6th riot and the 2020 election. A new indictment was filed last week in a separate special counsel investigation of Trump involving his alleged mishandling of the classified records. That indictment brought more charges against former president and a top aide, adding a newly charged defendant, Carlos de Oliveira, a property manager at Mar-a-Lago who helped move boxes of classified documents. This comes as more than 1,069 people have been arrested so far in January 6th cases. So this gives you a little bit of a track record here of what kind of stemmed from January 6th. And now this new indictment of former President Donald Trump. This also comes as there's new reports here that former President Donald Trump has potentially or allegedly or reportedly burned through a hundred million dollars of his election fund and quote nearly all of its cash. Uh, I've also seen another report that said $42 million of that alone was lawyer fees. Yeah, so this is starting to take at least a little bit of a toll or a lot of a toll on his election money at at, at least. It's, uh, it's a lot of money, one way or another. And apparently that has gone to like 40 different law firms. So there's a lot of legalities involved and several different, you know, defenses going on here. You guys can let me know your thoughts here on this in the comment section. But um, yeah, Trump is going to have a lot of legal battles going on here, probably all the way up until the next election. And, um, you know, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this, but uh, clearly everybody has a slightly different or largely different opinion on this. Um, yeah, and it really just kind of depends on what side of the spectrum you're on, left, right, center. You could literally go ask 100 people and almost get 100 different opinions on this 
And uh, it really kind of shows you here what's going to happen. Now, remember that it's going to come down to a jury of people that are going to decide Trump's fate in these cases, or at least in this particular case. And um, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. And also, what will happen if these cases do actually get decided before the election? Remember that Trump is the front runner for the Republican Party for next year's election, which is a little bit over a year away. Now that it's August, we're looking at about a year and three months away before the next election. So the months are rolling by and uh, the Cases are coming in. So some of the cases have been there and they're kind of still sitting there for months. And um, will these cases happen before the next election or will the next election happen and these cases won't actually be finished before the next election? If former President Donald Trump is elected as the next president, then boom, he will get that presidential immunity and another four years will kick in of presidential immunity. And basically, for the most part, it seems like you know, we, we haven't really had this happen here where something like this has happened. This would kind of be a new, unprecedented era. But it would seem that uh, everything would kind of go on hold for four years while the presidential immunity would kick in. And then, theoretically, the four years would go by and then it would be back on again. Again, we haven't really ever had this kind of stuff happen. Um, so that's what it seems like. Let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date here on everything going on here that you guys need to know about on a daily basis. I'm sure the comment section is going to be wild on this one because everybody has a different point of view. And we actually have a very diverse audience here. We have uh, people that think, you know, pretty much everything. So let me know your thoughts here. I'll keep you up to date here. If you haven't yet, subscribe down below. Click the bell icon. I'll keep you up to date here. Thanks for liking and sharing these videos. Click here if you haven't seen part two to my interview with Colonel Tony Schaefer. It just came out here in this video. Very good interview that just came out. And thanks, guys. And I will see you in the next video.